Hey, we're back. My next guest wrote, directed, and co-starred as Silent Bob in the films Clerks, Mall Rats, Chasing Amy, and his latest dogma. Please welcome Kevin Smith. I'm good. I, I, I'm sorry. I had to hug that's you. Because right. last time I was here, I didn't. I, I walked right past you. Oh, well, that's okay. And I you felt bad. It. And then when I heard that he was leaving the show, I was just like, it must have been me. So I knew <laughs> when I came you. out. Yeah, yeah. So I'm maybe now he'll stay. Yeah. <laughs> you hugged him. Yeah. Just yeah. Uh, <laughs> now all is right with the world. You know, I. Um, first of all, this film, it. it it's somewhat controversial because you're talk you're ta you're talking about God, mm -hmm. you're talking about faith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's also an extreme. It's a very accessible movie, and it's got a big cast: Ben Affleck, uh, Matt Damon, Maddie, Chris, Chris Rock. Rock's in it. You're in this film. Uh, I mean, this Alan is a Rickman, yeah. Tom Alan Rickman's Hayek. in it. Yeah, it's very. Uh, it, but yet the film itself is talking a lot about religion, and in a way that makes me think, you know, you must have had schooling in in one of the faiths. You must have been religious as a kid. No, I, I've just started learning about Jesus, and I think it's fascinating. Mm -hmm. seemed like a really good guy. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you hadn't heard of him before. No, no. I, I, Jesus sounds like a pretty cool dude. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's new. It's all new to me. I've done uh, eight years of, of Catholic school. Right. And it's always been kind of a favorite topic of mine. I'd been an altar boy, too, as well, when mm -hmm. I went to uh, Did you like being an altar Catholic boy? School. I, I dug it. Being an altar boy is kind of like, it's like being in a play. In many ways, were you ever an altar boy? Uh, I was actually a lector. I was one of the kids that has to read. So you re yeah, we used to make fun of you. <laughs> not you used you, to make fun you. of me personally. Yeah, exactly. You didn't even know me. You're like, I hear this is Conan O'Brien in Boston, <laughs> who deserves a beating. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was all right. You get up there, you got yourself a costume. Um, you have to memorize lines. Mm -hmm. um, you're pretty much the focus of attention, except, you know, for the <laughs> yeah, priest, right? right? Yeah. I mean, the priest There's is... the priest, but mostly it's the altar boy. Right, right. I, I always assume people are looking <laughs> yeah. at me. I mean, yeah. But it's kind of like if, if you're in the play and the priest is the focus, you're like cop two in the play. You know, you're the side guy. <laughs> right, people are, right. You got a few lines, you ring a bell, and people right. kind of like it. Did you... Uh, now, this movie, I, I, I saw the movie last night. I was curious, like your parents, for example, what would your parents think of this movie? Um, they, they liked it, but I'm not sure my parents are real big fans of what I do. They're happy I have a job, right? And I stop living at home and, and stop borrowing money. That's but most parents. The minute you start paying for your own apartment, you could be a hired assassin. Pretty they much. don't care. Right, right. Yeah, they were, they were just happy, I think, with the movie that we, uh, we haven't been excommunicated. That's my mother asked. We're going to be excommunicated? Right. I said, what does that mean? But um, <laughs> uh, she, once she found out it was okay... Like, she, you're just figuring out who Jesus is. <laughs> exactly. Like. But she, um, uh, both the parents are kind of mystified by, the, by what I do. I don't think it's really their cup do of tea. Do they like your other movies? Well, like on Clerks, I showed them Clerks the first time my mother watched it, and afterwards she was like, you spent 28 grand on that piece of garbage? And I was like, <laughs> thanks, Mom, very Brady-like of you. And, yeah. Um, good supportive mom. A lot of support there. Chasing Amy, they, they seem to like a little more. I, I guess the, that was the first one they kind of got into and I remember my, my father didn't fall asleep till like halfway through the movie which is a good sign <laughs> and uh, my mother was laughing like you know at all the oral sex jokes which is a little weird and off-putting <laughs> <laughs> because you're like what why, why do you find that funny ma you know right right and she's like no reason uh, yeah um, <laughs> You couldn't leave well enough no, alone. No. Could you? I'm gonna make sure. I hope I, you're I'm, proud of yourself. I'm, I'm gonna tell Ultra boy. Yeah. Uh, we do. Um, I, I, I want to show. Uh, I want to show a clip here from the from the movie, and this features Chris Rock, mm -hmm. and and uh, he plays the thirteenth apostle, who you've never heard about, right. and he Rufus. claims it's because his he name's left Rufus. Out, left out of the Bible because he's black. He's black, and they yeah. never. <laughs> Not it's a very right. funny idea. Right, right. That's all it is, a funny idea. The rest of the movie is crap, I guess. <laughs> Good pitch. Uh, well, here he is with, this is with, he's with two characters. You're Silent Bob. I play Silent Bob. And your yeah, friend Jay. Jason and, Mewes plays Jay. And, and this is where he's trying to convince you that he knows what, that he... Uh, yeah, uh, basically, he's kind of, since he's dead, he's been dead for a long time, he kind of watches what goes on on Earth, and, and Jay kind of 
challenges it assists, him. yeah, and challenges him, and, and you know, I sure you can set it up. That's right. I directed and wrote this film. Uh, <laughs> let's take a look at this clip from Dogma. Yo, man, tell me something about me. You masturbate more than anyone on the planet. Yo, everyone knows that. Tell me something nobody knows. When you do it, you're thinking about guys. Dude, not all the time. It's a bad guy to have around. I don't want to hear those things about myself. The, uh... The movie is Dogma. It opens next Friday. Big cast and a very unusual film. I've never seen one quite like it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it's a little cool job. Thanks. Very nice to have you here. Kevin Smith, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.